Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Monday Sports Page. We get started with high school football. State semifinal action from over the weekend with a shot to play for the state cha championship on the line. We start in the 4A classification where Wise hosted Howard to Upper Marlboro. We go Pumas undefeated 12-0. Howard undefeated 12-0. Here we go. And it's Wise on offense running hard. John Oliver breaking tackles and keeping this drive alive with the first down. That would be big because Quentin Williams will find A.J. Litton and he does the rest. Turns away from the defense and he is gone. That's a touchdown and just like that, Wise grabs the early lead. But here comes Howard right back. Robbie Porter is going to find Devin Dawkins on the little shovel pass and Dawkins is going deep into Wise territory to set up great field position. Very next play, Porter finds Robert Agabi for the touchdown and it's game on. The score is tied. It would take Wise a matter of seconds to respond because about three plays later, Oliver breaks through the line and he breaks a tackle and another one and he is gone for the touchdown. And Wise takes the lead right back. Then they turn things over to their defense, Christopher Rhodes with the big sack on the play. And then the Wise offense would go right back to work and once again, it's Oliver. And again, he's getting into the end zone for another touchdown and the Pumas extend their lead. Then their defense shuts him down. Nigel Johnson with the sack. And Wise is moving on. 42 to seven, let's get to the board now. And we'll take a look at it. And it's going to be Wise, 13 and 0 on the year. The number one seed, they'll take on Quince Orchard from Montgomery County, 12 and one. That'll be Friday night, December 1st at 7.30 p.m. at Navy Marine Corps Stadium in Annapolis for the state 4A championship. The 2A state championship will be decided on Saturday, December 2nd at 7 o'clock. The number one seed is Damascus. They're 13 and 0. Gwen Park is going. They defeated Hartford Tech 16 to 9 over the weekend to earn their berth to play for the 2A state championship. The college football, the Terps 2017 season came to an end over the weekend when they hosted number 10 Penn State in the finale at College Park. To Maryland Stadium we go. There's the Terps trying to end on a high note. Penn State looking for win number 10. And the Nittany Lions got it going early. Trace McSorley breaking through here. And the QB is going to take this one deep into Maryland territory to set up a first down situation. And from there, Penn State would turn and hand the ball to Tommy Stevens. And Stevens would break around the outside and into the end zone for the touchdown. And Penn State grabs the lead early in the first quarter. Max Bortenschlager trying to make things happen. But Jason Cabinda with the sack and the strip. That's a fumble. Penn State recovers it. And they go right back to work. And once again, it's Trace McSorley, the quarterback, taking this one into the end zone for the touchdown as he runs over a Maryland defender into the end zone for the score. And the lead is extended. Penn State would never look back. Saquon Barkley takes the handoff here. And he is going to get down inside the one-yard line to set up a goal-to-go -go situation for Penn State. Then it's going to be McSorley find Mike Gusecki with the shovel pass, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. Former Maryland offensive coordinator James Franklin fired up on the sideline. One more time, McSorley with the fake handoff finds Gusecki for the touchdown. And the Nittany Lions roll. They beat Maryland by a final score of 66-3. to The Terps finish the season 4-8, and, and they will miss out on a bowl game this year. College